So here we are, some apparent secret teachings of Jesus that the church didn't want you to know, but this guy on TikTok has somehow found out. Did you know that there are secret teachings of Jesus Christ that the church doesn't want you to know about? Yeah, so I'm sure you can see where this one's going. We need to understand how the Bible became the Bible. The first iteration, keyword, of the Bible was put together by the Nicene Council. Oh no, this old myth again. Nicaea had nothing to do with the canon of scripture. The council met to deal with the heresy of Arianism, which was about the divinity of Jesus and his nature. Not the Bible, not the books, not anything to do with that. Now, Emperor Constantine created the Nicene Council and filled it with high-ranking religious bishops of the time. While it's true, Constantine did call the council because he was trying to find unity because the controversy of Arius had gripped the Greek-speaking East and it was, you know, damaging to the empire, so Constantine wanted to settle it. So he called a council and invited all of the bishops from across the empire, not just high-ranking ones, because bishops were the highest rank. That was it. It was just all the leaders of all the churches across the Roman Empire, and the 1800 were invited, but only about 250 plus were that actually came, except from Britain was the only exception. And they came to discuss the Arius controversy and what he'd been teaching about the divinity of Jesus. That's it. There was no great conspiracy here. There was nothing to do with like sifting out the books of the Bible or trying to hide knowledge or whatever these conspiracy nuts like to put out there. There's so many myths online about Nicaea, which is ridiculous because you can go and read the source material and the canons of the council, which is all the bits of things that they discussed. We still have those things. And apart from um, Arius, the only other major thing they really discussed was the date of Easter, and when to do it, whether to follow Eastern custom or Western custom. East liked to follow Passover date, as the Jews still had it. West did it differently according to the moon, which is basically how we still do it now, because that's the way they voted, as it was the majority um, calendar that was in use in the church. They did it that way, and the East was the minority. The end. No real big conspiracy or anything going on there. They discussed some other things, minor issues con concerning bishops and teaching and things. And the end result was the Nicene Creed, which was to lay down the outline of Christian orthodoxy. And the function of this council was to determine which words of Jesus Christ were true and which ones were false. So now where I question the legitimacy of this council is would they have actually given us all the knowledge that Jesus wanted us to know? The only truth that the council decided upon was the nature of the divinity of Jesus against what Arius was teaching, that he was created and therefore not God, but a creature but still divine, whereas Nicene Orthodoxy was arguing that Jesus was of the same substance as the Father, and therefore God, and therefore divine. But divine on the same level as the Father, and therefore still God himself. And the Creed teaches this, so yes, therefore, the Council is legitimate, and it gives us the truth that Jesus wanted us to know, which is everything which the Gospels teach us, because Everything in the Creed is backed up by Scripture. The Gospel of Thomas is one of many books that were left out of the Bible. No, no, no it wasn't. The Gospel of Thomas is a second century text. It was written long after the Gospels were and had no part in anyone's mind of whether it was canon. It wasn't considered at all in any existing canon lists and there are many throughout the centuries and around this time we have a good list from people like Polycarp who from like end of the first century beginning of second century don't even mention Gospel of Thomas and he lists almost the whole of the New Testament in his writing his letter quotes nearly everything Gospel of Thomas like many others like it comes from the Gnostics who were a separate heretical secret knowledge cult that was nothing to do with the orthodox church 
nothing to do with Nicene Christianity. They're completely opposed to it and weren't even around at the same time as the apostles to be considered legitimate writers of a gospel. This whole thing is nonsense. This guy's just perpetrating constant internet myths and memes and is doing damage and a disservice to truth.